When Pony AI made its IPO debut on the NASDAQ last year, the little attention it received was mostly because of its fun and clever name. However, over the past year, it's gained more traction and is being taken more seriously as it rapidly emerges as a global powerhouse for vehicle autonomy. Let's examine Pony's achievements and highlight notable catalysts to better understand how the company got where it is today and where it could be heading tomorrow. A likely guess is that major breakthroughs in the future will continue to be made in China and the Middle East. That's because the business galloped to become the first and only autonomous driving firm in China to secure all necessary permits for fully driverless robo-taxi operations across all four Tier 1 cities, Beijing, Shanghai, Guangzhou, and Shenzhen. It also received the first regulatory approval in China for driverless robo-truck platooning on cross-provincial highways. The robo-truck fleet, developed in part with Sinotrans and SANY, has delivered over 926 million freight ton kilometers in commercial operations. Joint ventures have been formed with automakers like Toyota, SAC, GAC, and BEC to scale production and deployment, and it works closely with partners such as Alipay and AMAP to offer fair charging robo taxi services. Globally, Pony AI is expanding into Europe, East Asia, and the Middle East, aiming to commercialize its proprietary vehicle agnostic virtual driver technology across both passenger and freight transportation. This virtual driver system integrates Pony AI's in house software, hardware, and services and can be deployed across various platforms to deliver safe and reliable autonomous experiences in diverse driving environments. Central to its innovation is Pony World, a world model training framework that simulates real world conditions with high fidelity. Unlike traditional methods that rely on human driving data, Pony World uses AI generated scenarios to enable the system to learn by practicing. This includes critical edge cases like sudden pedestrian appearances or road hazards. It combines high fidelity simulation, reinforcement learning, interaction prompts, and comprehensive performance metrics to train and refine the autonomous system. The use of reinforcement learning allows the AI to continuously improve its decision making based on simulated interactions, while human guided prompts encode traffic rules and social norms to improve model alignment with real world expectations. Evaluation metrics assess not only accuracy and safety, but also fairness and user satisfaction, enabling robust refinement of system behavior. Pony AI's advanced software stack, powered by the Pony World Foundation model, supports high precision detection of road elements up to 650 meters away. Its vehicles are also equipped with a self cleaning sensor system to ensure reliability in adverse weather or dusty conditions. The system's use of LiDAR and radar also improves nighttime performance and pedestrian detection, offering critical redundancy beyond vision-only approaches. By leveraging this holistic training and evaluation methodology, Pony AI believes its autonomous driving system can exceed human driver performance in both safety and efficiency. Pony World is viewed as a core driver of its technological edge and commercialization strategy, reinforcing its leadership in developing trustworthy and high-performance autonomous mobility solutions for global deployment. Since being founded in 2016, Pony has spread operations across China, the U.S., East Asia, Europe, and the Middle East using its proprietary, vehicle-agnostic virtual driver technology to support autonomous mobility across multiple transportation use cases. The objective now is building a commercially scalable business model through global partnerships and large-scale vehicle deployment. In line with its international expansion, Pony partnered with Dubai's Roads and Transport Authority, RTA, in May 2025 to launch robo-taxi services in the Middle East through the deployment of Level 4 Autonomous Mobility Solutions. The collaboration will roll out Pony AI's technology in phases, beginning with supervised robo-taxi trials in late 2025, followed by a fully driverless service later in the decade. This alliance supports Dubai's goal of transforming 25% of all city journeys into autonomous trips by 2030, focusing on reducing traffic congestion, improving urban mobility, and building a sustainable transport model. Pony AI's leadership views its collaboration with Dubai's RTA as a strategic step in setting standards for intelligent transportation systems in the MENA region and advancing large-scale commercialization of self-driving technology. Similarly, a partnership with Mawasalat, 
Qatar's state-owned transport provider is set to deploy autonomous vehicles across Qatar. Road testing Robotaxis has already started in Doha with safety operators on board, focusing on adapting its autonomous systems to Qatar's climate, road conditions, and traffic patterns. Moa Salat, a key player in Qatar's National Vision 2030, sees this partnership as a step toward integrating cutting-edge transportation technologies into the country's infrastructure. Pony AI's CEO, Dr. James Peng, emphasized the significance of this partnership in building scalable and sustainable autonomous mobility solutions tailored to the region, with Moa Salat offering essential local expertise. Partnerships and testing beyond the Middle East have taken place in Seoul, South Korea, where vehicles are operating in dense urban environments under harsh weather, while in Luxembourg, it has begun testing in partnership with Emil Weber. Pony has also formed a partnership with Uber to launch robo-taxi operations in the Middle East. Robo-taxi permits have also been obtained in the U.S. In order to reach readiness at scale after getting all these regulatory approvals around the world, mass production began on Gen 7 robo-taxi vehicles. The Gen 7 autonomous driving system was first revealed at the Shanghai Auto Show in April 2025. Later, it moved into production with models developed in partnership with Guangzhou Automobile Group, GAC, in June, and Beijing Automotive Industry Corporation, BAIC, in July. The Gen 7 RoboTaxi marks a major technological leap, being the first in the world to use 100% automotive-grade components. Its platform-based design allows quick adaptation across various vehicle models, while also reducing the cost of the autonomous driving kit by 70% compared to earlier versions. Through extensive engineering, the domain controller's cost was cut down by 80% from the previous generation, while significantly improving durability and efficiency. Developed entirely in-house, the controller uses three NVIDIA Oranex chips for primary operations and a fourth for redundancy, delivering over 1,000 tops of computing power. The compact, integrated design reduces size, weight, power consumption, and cost by 50% to 80%, and consolidates multiple functions, including sensors, displays, power systems, and navigation into a single unit. This simplifies vehicle architecture, speeds up manufacturing, and enhances reliability. Something that's paramount since even Pony AI has incidents sometimes, such as when a fully autonomous Pony AI vehicle reportedly caught fire in Beijing. That's why the system supports both liquid and passive cooling, and in case of failure, it can automatically switch to a redundant controller to maintain safe vehicle operation. With a multi-layered safety architecture and built-in failover strategy, the controller ensures continued function even during system faults, allowing the vehicle to safely pull over or navigate critical road situations. Overall, the Gen 7 system has a projected 10-year or 600,000-kilometer life cycle. With hundreds already produced, Pony is on track to reach its target of 1,000 by year-end. The company has accumulated over 50 million kilometers of global autonomous driving tests, validating its systems under various traffic and lighting conditions. Its proprietary virtual driver has logged more than 500,000 hours of driverless operation, and claims a safety record up to 10 times better than that of human drivers. Shortly after the Gen 7 system entered mass production, its Level 4 domain controller surpassed 2 million kilometers of on-road testing. Operational advancements have also led to greater cost efficiency, particularly in areas like remote assistance and insurance, moving Pony AI closer to positive unit economics. According to an interview given by CFO Leo Haojin Wang with the Wall Street Journal, Pony AI is on track to reach single-unit economic break-even by the end of 2025 or early 2026. This means the company expects to start making a profit on each additional robo-taxi. It adds to its fleet, a crucial step toward overall profitability given the significant investments in autonomous vehicle technology. Wang credited the progress to cost reductions in insurance, fleet expansion, and a growing user base. Pony's fully driverless and scalable robo-taxi model has proven resilient, operating even during extreme weather and gaining recognition at WAC 2025, where it was the only provider offering on-demand driverless rides to the public. Commercial deployment is accelerating, 
supported by a 136% increase in registered users and a strategic partnership with Shenzhen's largest taxi operator to deploy over 1,000 robotaxis in the coming years. Service hours have also expanded to a 24-7 schedule in parts of Guangzhou and Shenzhen. Institutional investor interest has increased, with ARK Invest disclosing a $12.9 million stake and 14 other global investors, including Bailey Gifford and Nico Asset Management, joining in Q2. UBS has estimated that China's robo-taxi market could grow to $183 billion by the late 2030s, with international opportunities outside the U.S. worth nearly $400 billion. For more on Pony AI, other stocks, and crypto, follow Ascencore. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.